Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, we will show you how we have created this sales business intelligence dashboard in Microsoft Excel. As you are seeing my screen, this is the overview page. And here we are showing the actual sales amount, target sales amount. Then this is the variance. And here we are showing the number of units sold. And this is the achievement percentage in comparison of the target. So we have achieved 101% in comparison of the target total sales amount. Here we are showing the target met percentage by the region. And here we are showing the count by the target status. So we have met 54% of the target. And here we are showing the sales amount versus target amount by the region. This is the variance by the product category, variance between target and the actual sales. On the left hand side, we have taken a navigation pen and here on the right hand side, we have created the slicer so that you can filter the data using the slicer. For example, I want to select a particular month. I can simply click here. The whole data will be filtered for that particular month. You can simply just click or you can see it by region also or you can see it by product category also. So as you want to see, you can just click on the slicer automatically that page will be filtered. This is the overview page and we are showing the high level summary here. You can just click on the regional analysis here. So it will take you to the regional analysis page. This is the regional analysis page. Here we are showing the achievement percentage by the region. So here you can see we have achieved maximum in the east region that is 103.4% against the target. Okay. So the, this achievement percentage is the target versus actual sales here we are showing the target met count by the region and you can see we have five regions and this is the number and here we are showing the variance percentage by the region the variance between actual and the target here we are showing the unit sold by the region now we have the sales representative analysis also so let's click on this and this is the sales representative page we are showing the target met percentage for the top five sales rep and we can see that here and this is the variance by the sales rep and this is the achievement percentage by the sales rep and this is the target amount by the sales rep you can see it for a particular product category also you can simply just click on that and automatically the all the charts will be changed or if you want to see it for a particular region you can just select that region also now let's go to the product category here in the product category, we are showing the unit sold by the product category, then achievement percentage by the product category and sales amount versus target amount by the product category. And this is the target met by the product category. Again, you can use any slicer like if you want to see the information for a particular month, you can select that. And then the next we have the monthly trend and we are showing here unit sold target not met count by the month as well as we are showing here sales amount versus target amount by the month and again you can use the slicer for the product category or you can use for the region also if you want to see for a particular region trends for a particular region you can see that again you can come to the overview page so this is the sales business intelligence dashboard wherein we have given all overview about the sales data and we have captured the target amount also. Now let me show you the raw data, how we have captured the raw data and if you want to add your data, how you can add. Let's go to the file and go to the options and go to the advanced and just scroll it down and click on so seat tab here that is under the display option for this workbook let's click on okay now we can see all worksheets here okay you can see the every worksheets here let's come to the data sheet here in the data sheet we have serial number then we have region here this is the name of the salesperson and here we have the product category date sales amount and we have captured the target amount also this is the variance, which is the difference between sales and target. Now here we are capturing whether target is met or not. If variance is negative target, not met. If variance is positive target met. Now this is the number of units sold and this is the average unit price. And here we are using the 
updated by person name and updated on. Now we have created few calculations also to use as a calculated field in our PY tables. That is the not met count. Here we have used if target status is not met then one otherwise zero. Here we have the target status this one. Similarly for the met count if target status is met then one otherwise zero. Total count is one and then we have captured here month and year from the date. You can see we have used the text function and here we have used the text function for the year. Once we have created this all information, so if you want to update your data, what you can do, you can just delete this data from here. Okay, just delete this, just keep the formulas only and you can delete this data like uh, this, just simply delete and then you can enter your data from here. And once you, are, once you have entered your data, then just go to the data tab and just click on refresh all. As you click refresh all, all the pages will be refreshed automatically according to your data. Now let me come to the support sheet. Here in the support sheet, we have created various pivot tables. And we have created five pages here. You can see for each page, we have created multiple pivot tables. So here we have put the overview. That means these all the pivot tables are being used inside the overview page like sales amount, total amount, variance, units. So these all are pivot table. If I right click and I'll say so field list, then you can see this is a pivot table and achievement percentage. Then here we have the met percentage and the other things here. Okay, you can see then these all pivot tables are for the next page, which is the regional analysis. This one. Okay, regional analysis, the second page. All right, then we have created these and the next page is the sales rep analysis. Then we have created these all pivot tables. Then the next is the product category summary. This one, then monthly trends here. All right. So once you create the pivot table, then you can start creating your charts like we have created here. To create the chart, what we have done, we have first created this design in the backend and to create this design we have used the excel shapes like rectangles and some other shapes also so let me show you if i unprotect this seat this is protected as of now so you can just go to the review and just say unprotect seat as you click the unprotect seat it will be unprotected without asking any password because we have protected every seat without any password okay now this is the normal shapes you can see you can just move this rectangle or you can move this rectangle or you can just move this text box you can see or you can just move the this rectangle available in the back end okay so everything is different shape or text box and you can use it these all text box you can see this is the text box this is the icon which we have used this is the icon which we have used okay and this is also the icon and here we have the text box. Here we have text box in the back end. This one, you can see this is the text box. And then we have this chart over this text box. Okay. So that is how we have created this. If you want to learn more about how to create the pivot table like we have created here, as well as we have created some calculations also calculated field, you can click on any pivot table and then you can go to the pivot table analyze here go to the field item set and click on list formulas so we have created some formulas here you can see and uh, these all formulas available in the back end to create the pivot tables okay and the calculated field like mat percentage and other so if you want to learn in detail how to create the calculated field how to create the pivot table to create the charts you can join our udemy course we have given the link in the video description box you can join it at the discounted rate. We have explained each and everything there and we have explained how to create the advanced level of charts also like we have used here some advanced charts. So you can see that uh, how you can create this type of double donut chart and everything. Okay. We have explained how you can create the dashboards also using the slicers, how you can customize the slicer as per your requirement. We have explained everything. Now let me show you how you can create this type of double donut chart. So to create that we have to create a pivot table like we have created here so this chart is available on the product cat this chart is available on the regional uh, region analysis right so let's come here and uh, 
then we will come to the region analysis which is the second page this one and here we have this second pivot of this so we are creating this for this particular pivot okay for this one so if you see here we have taken the mat count twice the same count if i right click here so field list and you can see that mat count which is this one mat count we are taking twice and we are just taking to create the double donor chart so let's insert a donor chart here this one automatically that donor chart will appear twice because we have taken the mat percentage twice now let's uh, go to the pivot chart analyze and uh, field list hide all and uh, you can just delete this legend we don't require this just click here right click go to the format data series and the donut hole size we can take around 50 or 60 okay now just click here go to the format and say shape outline as no outline and the inner circle also shape outline as no outline all right now inside circle we will change the light color of the same theme so just click here double click so that only single slice will be selected and we can fill here some lighter color of the same theme and here also or let's take the this one then here you can take this one or you can make it this one also same here and for this let's take this color and for this one and for this one we have already filled now you can see we have taken the same color in the inner circle but little lighter color now add let's add the data label here so go to this plus and just say add data labels we can see the data labels inside we have the number so just select that make it black and bold and take size around 8 for the outside one same black bold 8 and just right click go to the format data label for the outside one and let's take the category name also here and then remove the value and remove the show letter lines now we can just increase the uh, decrease the donut hole size take around 40 okay so that text can be fit in a proper way now select this and uh, i think let's take a white color that will be more visible so this double donuts chart is ready that is how you can create okay if you want to learn more about the various charts which we have created here and apart from that some other advanced level charts also and the pivot table you can you can join our course we have given the link in the video description box all right friends friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like the video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching